Hi ladies. Here I am again on uh, Tuesday morning. I'm on my way to work, so I'm just stopping on the side of the road <laughs> and I'm going to give uh, my Shabbat class because I'm not going to have any more time today. Tuesday's my crazy day these days. Um, I teach all morning long till about one o'clock in a little um, plastic cubicle, which I think I've told you about a million times, but it just like boggles my mind that that's what I do. It's crazy. <sighs> kind of feel like there's more germs inside a plastic cubicle than outside a plastic cubicle, but hey, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, here you go, guys. There is an amazing essay that I want to teach you about today. Um, it's called Shabbat Umikore Hakadusha. Shabbat and its connection to the different sources of bless of holiness. Sources of holiness. And especially Kedushat Shabbat Ve'eretz Yisrael is the essay that we're doing now. It's the 13th essay on Shabbat. I, I kind of feel like we're almost done. Oh no, there's still a 14th essay. Okay. Um, so Shabbat and Eretz Yisrael, what's the connection? So it says, first of all, he brings, Netivot Shalom brings a, a beautiful um, point about Yaakov Avinu. It says that Yaakov, when he came in, to Shechem from uh, Lavan when he was finishing up uh, bringing his family back to Eretz Yisrael after he had been with Lavan um, outside of Eretz Yisrael for a good 22 years and he was coming back with his family and he just about entered Sh uh, Shechem the, the city of Shechem which was in Eretz Yisrael in, on Friday apparently on Erev Shabbat that's what the Midrash says hold on a second it says that it was in Eretz Yisrael. Shechem is in Eretz Canaan. Shehaya begvul Eretz Yisrael. Um, but at that point, it says, Vayavo Yaakov Shalem ir Shechem. So he came with Shlemut. He came with completeness, with perfection almost. So the question is, why did he come into Eretz Yisrael at that moment, at the beginning of Shabbat, with um, such completion and perfection. So it says Nitzvot Shalom, and it's funny because I like to say it um, on my trips, my uh, women's reconnection trips, when we come to Friday night and we're right in front of the Kotel and um, we're sitting at, at the H build, at the H building usually, and we kind of get together and we talk about like, you know, just the beginning of Shabbat and, and we connect and I say this idea, and I don't know if I remember that it was from this, but that there's basically a combination going on between Shabbat and Eretz Yisrael and the Nefesh. So there's this idea of time, space, and soul, and self. And there's always going to be, with each of those categories, a holy aspect or, or a point at which heaven and earth meet, or the spiritual and the physical meet. It's like the middle of the way between God and this world. So in so in terms of space, it's Eretz Yisrael. And in terms of time, it's Shabbat. And in terms of the soul, it's the soul of the Jewish person. Or in terms of self, it's my soul, my particular soul, each person's soul. So, so when those three get together, and especially with Yaakov, let me read it to you because it's so beautiful. Um, Basically, Hashem's purpose in this world is to come down into this world and have a relationship with us in time, in space, and in self, relationship with, with us. So, it says specifically, When Yaakov came into the land of Israel, in Shechem, which was the beginning of the land of Israel, like the, the border, the, the edge, which I didn't know, by the way. Then this is called Bizmat. So, so Nitzterfu Yachad, they were combined together, Hanefesh Hanivcheret, the soul that was chosen, so to speak, Bazman Hanivchar, the chosen time, Im Hamakom Hanivchar, and the chosen space. Ukedita, as it says, oh, and this is so bizarre that the, the acronym of Shechem is Shem Kavod Malchuto. Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Leolam Ve'ed. Like Hashem's name, Hashem's kingship and his name. So, so that holiness came together in Shechem 
that all uh, were, were kind of combined together, right? So that is when Yaakov reached completion. As letachlit higia, as letachlit hashlemut, shenitava hakadosh baruch hu liot dira batachtonim. Hashem wanted to have a space or a place in this world. And so the combination of those three were really, in essence, as close as we can get to completion because that was fulfilling the purpose of creation. So this is another one beautiful point about Eretz Yisrael and Shabbat, what they have in common. Listen to this. This is so great. Bemitzvat Shabbat ve'Eretz Yisrael, there's another connection between Shabbat and Eretz Yisrael. Shekol mitzvot yesh lahem gvul, umida. There's always going to be um, a limit. There's a boundary around the mitzvah, like you're putting up a mezuzah. So you have that mezuzah, it's a finite mezuzah, and you're putting it up, and during that time and that space, where you put it and the amount of time it takes you to put it up, that's the time in which you're engaged in a mitzvah, in holiness. There's all these people walking by next to my car, they think I'm crazy. Um, you know, so so that is a limited, uh, finite little mitzvah that we do, which is great. We connect to God through that. Or, you know, when you withhold from saying Lashon Hara. So during that time that you're withholding and during, and your mouth specifically not saying Lashon Hara or the other way around, if you're giving tzedakah, if you're saying a nice word to somebody, that is a mitzvah and it's a limited mitzvah. But Shabbat ve'eretz Yisrael rak be'et she'adam osek be'kiyum ha'mitzvah only when a person is doing the mitzvah, he is connected to it. But, Kedushat Shabbat ve'eretz Yisrael makifot et kol metziuto shel ish Yehudi. They surround our reality completely. We're in it. On Shabbat, throughout Shabbat, for those 25 hours, whatever we do, if we eat, if we sleep, if we talk to our children, if we talk to our husband, if we speak divrei Torah, whatever it is, even if we speak about politics, there's a holiness to what we're doing. Crazy, right? Save your discussions about politics for Shabbat only. Because, kol, um, hold on a second. Kivan Shabbat, Shabbat nichnas kol kulo letoch Shabbat. He is completely immersed in Shabbat and in holiness. And the same exists in Israel. Oh my God. Kedushat Eretz Yisrael is the same thing. That when you come into Eretz Yisrael, makefet gamken et kol metziuto. It surrounds your entire reality. Did you notice that when you come to Eretz Yisrael? Come on my trip, guys. I want to plan a trip. Can we plan it? For right after Sukkot, October 4th, I think. I can't do it earlier. I just can't. Books, the, um, the uh, hotels are not willing to book me. So everything is too up in the air. But October 4th, and you will feel that you are completely immersed in holiness in the land of Hashem. Ish Yehudi hasharui be'eret Yisrael, k'tushat ha'aretz chofefet alav, v'harei hu tovel kulo. It's like he's immersing in a mikvah of holiness. He's like totally surrounded by holiness, and no matter what he's doing, v'ze'inyan hashlemut. And that's why there's a particular completion and perfection in these two mitzvot, Shabbat and Eretz Yisrael. So just imagine Shabbat and Eretz Yisrael together and you, your soul, focusing on Hashem and on spirituality and your connection to Hashem. I just spoke to my friend Karen yesterday. Thank you, Karen. And she was talking to me about meditation. And I think Esther Shore also wants to tell me a little bit about that. I have to have to be in touch with you also. Um, and I think maybe there's something there where we can sit on Shabbat in Eretz Yisrael, that, that would be amazing. If not, at least think about Eretz Yisrael. How about that? Uh, if you're if you're not here and on Shabbat, have like a certain meditation where we're just sitting and with ourselves and we focus on those three levels of holiness that we're connecting to. Sounds good? Good luck.